John in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, listening on Sirius XM. Hey, John, what's up? Uh, just uh, agreeing with most of the callers today. My whole uh, thought right now is even if Bernie Sanders is elected president, is it going to be another four or eight years of a do-nothing Congress? I think do not, because Bernie knows how to use the podium. Bernie, Bernie knows how to fire people up. And, and this is what, in my opinion, if there's a failure to the first four years of the Obama administration, it was the failure of the president to use the bully pulpit that he had. And I think it's because he was relatively new to politics and he didn't understand how this town works. And, and also he had a whole bunch of very cautious old Clinton advisors with him. And so they, and they were looking at his reelection. And so they were saying, like, don't rock the boat, take your first four years, take it slow. And, and he followed their advice. And I think it was a mistake. I, I, I sat in a meeting in the White House with one of the senior White House officials officials and said as much uh, at the end of the first year of the of the Obama presidency and they basically said okay thank you very much we're, we're done with you and you know and and I never got invited back and and uh, you know and I understand you know they don't want to hear from outsiders but I, I you know I, I don't think that Bernie would have an unsuccessful presidency if he uh, presidency if he was elected I think that you know there's enough populist push behind him. And this is the same thing with the first year. You need to study the first year of the FDR presidency. And, and the best lens to look at that through is, is Frances Perkins, the, the woman that he made the Secretary of Labor who invented the New Deal. In fact, there's a new book out about her. It's, a, it's actually two or three years old, but um, there's a book out about Frances Perkins uh, that is the best, you know, looking at the New Deal book I've read that's, that's called The Woman Who Invented the New Deal, as I recall. If you just you know go to Amazon and plug Francis Perkins in, it'll pop right up. But I think that that's that's what it is, and 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 I agree with you. We need Bernie because he represents the the. He's not anti-establishment like Chris Matthews is trying to portray him. He's not suggesting that corporations should come under the purview of government like Chris Matthews is trying to suggest. He is he is really he's an FDR Democrat. He's he's the FDR wing of the Democratic Party. Him and Elizabeth Warren and and Sherrod Brown and Peter DeFazio and 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 uh, Keith Ellison and Raul Grijalva and yeah and, and Jan Schakowsky. I mean the Democratic wing of the Democratic Party, the Progressive Caucus, which Bernie created in the House of Representatives back 20, 30 years ago, is is alive and well. There are a lot of progressives there, but they're all viewed by the insider Democrats as outsiders. And so, you know, when Jan Schakowsky, thanks for the call, John, when Jan Schakowsky offers a, a budget, as she did this year and she did last year, and we had her on the program both times, a balanced budget over a 10-year period that would move direct, move America in a very progressive direction. When you know, the Republicans took Paul Ryan's budget, everybody knows about it. Nobody knows about the Democratic, the Progressive Caucus budget, because it's not the, the institutional party.